Hello everyone, welcome to Rhino Feed. I'm going to show you what's in my menu bar. First of all, I have ScreenFlow. And it's not normally in my menu bar, except this time, because I'm doing a screencast. It is. So, yeah. Next up, I have Dropbox. Mostly everyone knows about Dropbox. It's a great file syncing and backup tool. Um, it's basically a magical folder, which you drop your files in, and it automatically gets dispersed between your iPhone, your other laptop, your desktop, and the web. All at once, pretty seamless, and works really well. Um, I have what Pulse, which I've been using for quite a while now. It is a little application that allows you to track your keystrokes and mouse clicks and um, different kind of information, <laughs> such as when you move the mouse, it will try to approximate how much you really moved your hand. So this says I moved my hand 3051 meters since the last time I've synced to the web. So, if I go to my online stats, I can show you how much I've really done. I've had this for quite a while now, probably a few years. And um, you can have sports multiple computers for multiple operating systems, even Linux. So, that's great. And, um, yeah, 4.4 million keys, which... I don't know if that's a high number or a low number, considering it's been more than a year. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. Kind of a geeky thing to do, to have around in your menu bar. Next up, I have LabTick, which adjusts your backlighting on your MacBook Pro um, for your keys. It's a little glitchy sometimes when you're doing a lot of CPU intensive tasks. It kind of flickers sometimes, but most of the time it's pretty fine and it works pretty well for the job that it requires to do. It just has a simple slider and that's pretty much it. Uh, next up is Little Snapper, which is a handy dandy little screen capturing tool, which I don't know if I would buy it. I got it in the Mac Heist bundle, which was all together like 50 bucks and you got a ton of applications. But this, they charge $30 in the Mac App Store, which for what it's doing is a little pricey in my opinion. It has a couple of features that are really nice, which is Web Snap. Um, I forgot how to do this. Okay, <laughs> you click on here, you go to any page, and with one simple click, it captures the entire page. Eh, maybe. Oh, it's not quite loaded yet. Let's try just a simple. <laughs> Come on. I'm doing a screencast here. Seriously. Now is not the time. Okay. You can do it. It never works when you're actually trying to do a presentation. Anyway, normally you could just click on this button right here. It would capture the entire page. Even if the page was was long, it would capture the entire page. So, uh, here for one of my MacBook Pro videos, I took a screenshot of the specs page, and it took it took it in one simple click. So that's one handy thing. Um, and it's just overall easy to manage your screen captures if you want. And it supports uploading to Flickr and Ember. And I think there's one more. Oh, FTP and SFTP, which is quite handy. Upload it right to your web server. Um, another one, a lot of people know about it. It's in the Mac App Store, Caffeine. It prohibits your MacBook Pro from going to sleep. And which is and displaying the screensaver, which is really handy to have around, especially when you're watching a movie, and it decides to just 
go to sleep on you and you're like, seriously, no, not now, come on. Okay. <laughs> Next up, I have Reverse App, which that snazzy iPhone, bleh, don't butcher his name, please. That snazzy iPhone guy showed a week ago, which it reverses your scrolling, obviously. <laughs> um, so basically, if you're on a web page, if I can show you an example here, um, with your mouse, you flick upwards to go down and downwards to go up. So it reacts just like the iPhone or iPad or the iPod Touch, any iOS device, um, that same kind of feel. If you were doing a touch screen, you'd flick up to go down on the page. So that's what they're going to implement in Lion pretty soon, so I might as well learn it now. Um, I think that's available in the Mac App Store as well, so... And that's free, so that's just a handy little application I like to have. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I know a lot of people have done what's in my doc videos and that's kind of why I got this idea. If you'd like to do a video response, you can. And check out what other applications people use daily and it would be fun. So, um, I guess I should say all my links and stuff maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You can email me at nathaniel at rhinofeed.com. I have a Facebook page at rhinofeed.com slash FB. And I have a Twitter page at twitter.com slash rhinofeed or twitter.com slash N underscore Herschler, H-I-R-S-C-H-L-E-R. So, a good German name, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I'm embarrassing myself a lot in this video. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Catch you later!